Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dying. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Do you know that anti climbing paint is a thing? I'm sorry. What does that even mean? It is a. So there, there's a paint. Mm hmm. It says it's used to prevent climbing on objects such as lampposts, walls, and fences. It owes its effectiveness to the fact that it's based on a non-drying oil and keeps the surface greasy and slippery. And an additional advantage, it leaves it leaves its mark on the person touching it and hence makes it possible for intruders to be identified. So it's like it's like paint that doesn't dry and it's like greasy and oily always. So like and the picture on this page is like is there's like a fence. And the, and it has like a brick. It's attached to a brick wall, and it says "warning: anti climbing paint." Like, so if you tried to climb the fence, you would just slide off, and it would like get all over your clothes and stuff. What happens if you like touch it though? Like, I would think that that would just you. You just gotta paint this wall like once a week. Guys, how many people trying to climb in your house? You gotta I'm, rub it all off. Not even like climbing, but you would think like if somebody if I saw anti climbing paint, I'm gonna be like, oh, what does that mean? And then I'm gonna like dip a finger. But what if it killed you? What do you? What? How would you not? Do you just say no? Why? Do you, you do. You did this. All right. You've confused my mind. <laughs> I don't even know how to reprimand you <laughs> <laughs> by asking if it killed you. Why would it kill me? Why would I think that touching the paint would kill me? That why, is, I, I'm not why, thinking why that. Why wouldn't it? Sounds toxic. No, it says anti climbing. It doesn't say kill a motherfucker paint. It sounds toxic though. It doesn't say deadly paint. Beware of deadly paint. If, you would touch that, though, too, wouldn't Venomous you? Venomous paint. Venomous paint. You'd be like, let me see. No, it doesn't say that. It's not fentanyl paint. It's just regular paint. No, it's not. It's far from regular paint, Okay, well, it's far from regular. I'm just saying it's like, I don't know. Is it on the entire wall? Is it yeah, the whole wall is painted with that's paint. Since that's so dumb. Why? I don't know. That's, that's crazy. Maybe they have problems with people. Like lamp Damn. posts. They don't want people climbing lamp posts. I mean, look, honestly... The fact that it got to the point for those people means that they've had the problem before. I'm not just going to get anti-climbing paint put on everything because of like... Oh, like on my house just because I think it'd be fun. Yeah, just just as a deterrent. <laughs> just in case people try to climb my house. Right? So obviously they've had a problem. So God, thank God that there's an option for them. Maybe they do it in foreign countries where they have soccer friendlies because they all get rowdy and climb street posts. Uh, Sounds like a European uh, thing to me. It does sound like It's all European. muggy and shit over there, so the paint wouldn't dry very easily anyway, and then That's you get the so oil gross. to it. That's so gross. Here, uh, like in Philly, like uh, when the, what was it? it was the baseball game, they had uh, they were greasing the lampposts. So, so they would yeah, so they couldn't climb the goddamn lamppost. Yeah, they'd like wax the lamppost. They should have just, just anti climbing paint on it. I'm gonna just keep making just the making wax this, the lamppost the, the, motion. Like <laughs> stroking. Like, that's how you because that's how you paint. It. Yeah, when you paint, you just stroke it. Like you just put it on your hand and just rub your hand up and down the lamppost. <laughs> When you just you just take the beeswax and you just rub yeah the beeswax. I yeah. assumed it was beeswax. It is, it is. I don't know, man. I just I found that and I thought that was super fun. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I've never really had the issue with anybody breaking into my home. Have you ever experienced a, a home invasion? No, I've had people break into my car. Yeah, but not my house. Home. Yeah, I've never had. Yeah, I've never had my house broken. You, you known anyone that's had their house robbed? I guess. Okay, so look. This oh, is like, I got a story. Go ahead. This is like an ancient memory, and I'll let you go. But this is like an ancient memory. I remember I was maybe like, maybe like seven, eight, nine years old, and I came home from school, and somebody had broken into. We lived in a townhouse in the heart of Cleveland. And somebody had stolen my Nintendo Entertainment System. Super Nintendo. No, Nintendo. I don't remember. Something broke in your house? Yeah. Oh, I shit. remember this. And I remember. Or did your mom just sell it? And I remember. No. <laughs> she just sold it and told you somebody broke Honestly, it. Honestly, why? Well, it's like when, like, the, oh, the dog ran away. They gave it to the neighbor. I, I don't know. I have, like, this memory of her talking to the police. So I think that it actually was something. And then she was like, we'll get you another one. And I was did like, she? All right, yeah. All right. Well, did. I'm glad she kept her word. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure she probably got payment for it. I, you know, I should ask her about that. That's one of those things you need Call to Call her up right her now. Get her on the podcast. Hey, mom, remember my Super Nintendo got stolen? Yeah. I'm, t I'm dead ass serious, man. Yeah. Anybody at home, you should start having conversations with your mom about if that used to happen when you were a kid. It's, it's enlightening to it's see. The only way like, you're going to get it. Exactly. It's enlightening to see what they were thinking during those times. Mom, but, why but, was I an a hole? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about me being an a-hole. Yeah. How did you feel when you were beating my ass? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. that time you hit me with a belt so hard my eye got black and blue? Yeah. I mean, uh, so it was cool back then. My cousin. Yes. 
he has since passed away, so I can tell the story. All right, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, he was a drug dealer, and uh, he didn't. He <laughs> Who didn't, isn't? Yeah, and uh, and he said that uh, he would. I mean, like he 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 lived in Florida and he sold lots of drugs. And he was like, yeah, I had like these bulletproof vests and like all this stuff. He like he sold lots of drugs. Sure. And he said this one time. He had these girls come over, and he had, like, he lived upstairs above a, like, a apartment above a garage sort of deal. Mm-hmm. And uh, he had cameras and, like, locks on. Because he, you know, he, people knew he sold and whatever. And he said uh, he had these girls come over one day, and they were hanging out. And she was like, oh, I got to run out to the car to get my whatever. Motherfuckers came in with guns and robbed him. Like, Ooh. when she, she, like, she went out, yeah. she went outside. And when she came back in, she brought, like... Oh, she brought whoever with guns and like they, uh, yeah, they robbed him and like, she and you can't like, up. and you can't like go to the police for like your drug dealer. You can't be like somebody came in and robbed me. Like what are you supposed to? I was so yeah. dr- like, so nothing happened. He didn't get hurt, but they stole his drugs and his money and like I think his jewelry and like whatever you know like. How uh, well did he know that girl? I don't know. He just told me like I didn't like I hung out with him when I was younger because he lived in Ohio uh, and then they moved to Florida. And I didn't really see him, but here and there, randomly. Um, and uh, and then like he told me this later in life when he was like when he we were in our twenties or something. Yeah. And I was like, damn, bro. And who knows? He could have been a liar. I have no idea. But like, I don't know why he would just tell me that. Story. Yeah, I don't know why you lie about losing a bunch of money. Right. Exactly. You know that the story that made him look good, right? All right. If he was Jay Z, would have got it back. It's very, <laughs> it's very funny though. Getting lined up like that. Those situations do happen very quickly. Mona, Lisa. <laughs> what? Wayne told that story no, in Mona no, Lisa's no, yeah no, him and Kendrick uh, but yeah it's, it's very and those situations happen so fast usually a person walks in says I'm taking this and you say okay and they leave and then you're like I got robbed and you're like that sucked yep and then you try to retaliate if you know who it was I mean yeah, if you know in that lifestyle was. yeah I'm not if someone afraid. comes in and steals like Tens of thousands of dollars of stuff from you. Yeah, I probably got to retaliate. Gotta like, do if you with. don't, what? I mean, what's that tell everybody else? I mean, nobody's got to know. Uh, you yeah. think that person ain't going to tell people they robbed you? And I you, mean, you if you do tell a return? bunch of people, then yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I feel like I got to do I something. I feel like in the drug dealer world, I feel like telling that you robbed another drug dealer a bad idea. is a good idea because it makes yeah. you... It makes you look strong and them look weak if they didn't do anything to retaliate to you. Why would you want to give the police evidence? It's the drug world. They ain't. They, what do you mean? They're, they're it's talking the drug about. World. They're it's, talking about their street clout. They, this isn't Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. It's not that. No. The best thing you can do is shut the hell Man, up. Man, I know. I've never committed a crime like that, but if I committed a crime, I wouldn't tell a soul. Yeah, guess what? Every drug dealer that has been caught. Talk. Did exactly what you exactly. The ones who get caught talk because they can't help themselves. Yes, I did something awesome. Yeah, you robbed a guy for fifty for fifty G's. That's crazy. You want to tell somebody because you can't just spend the money and be like, yeah, 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 yeah. If for you sure. shut your own mouth, and then you'd be fine. Yeah, until like I tried to come back and kill you. I mean, yeah, but I mean, like you're gonna have that. That's a part of the lifestyle. <laughs> what? How much money? Being call. stole from you would warrant you going back and trying to murder them. Not saying you would do it, but like, you know, like if someone like stole like five k from you, do you think someone like would think the average person would be like I'm gonna go murder that person, or would it, you're talking fifty k or whatever? Like, I mean, what do you do? Like, it's like, do you what, you got to retaliate? You go fight them? You go try to kill them? Like, what do you? I don't know. I'm not in that lifestyle, but. I would have to say is that I've never had enough money where I wouldn't, where it could get stolen and I would kill somebody over it. Right. I don't really know if there's a number you could put on it. I guess if you got into like the million, some, some money that I've never actually acquired, then maybe I might feel more strongly about it. But where I am economically, I've never had enough money. Yeah. If somebody took all the money I have, I'd be like, well, I can make that again. It ain't like I have a million dollars. It's like. And I've been good. I mean, I'm good now. I'm, you know, but still, like, if I lost it all. But it ain't like you're sitting here with, like, Bezos money. You know what I mean? You're just, yeah. I would pursue it. I'm going to call the cops. I'm going to do everything in my power. I'm going to. What if it's drug money and you can't? 
my money is not drug money. But what? Like but it. what if it was like money you couldn't like call oh, the cops? Sorry, so the cops are not an option. You, yeah, the cops are not an option. You can't be like, sorry, drug dealer came and stole my drug money. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I and then now you can't be a drug dealer. They ruined your whole business. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll go to the Walmart and go greet people at the door. <laughs> and tell, you know, get... For, former, former uh, salesman. Now I'm just a greeter. Yeah, I mean, Hello, I'm not, Helena. I've never claimed to be gangster. All right, listen, I don't need this judgment. <laughs> I can feel the listeners judgment like dynamite's a pussy. I'm not a pussy. <laughs> I'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let someone try to threaten your friend. You ready to, ready to pounce to on him? I'm not. I'm talking to the. I'm talking to the, the listener. Yeah, I'm saying, but like, no, I'm defending you. I'm oh, like, let okay. someone try to hurt your friend. You're ready to just go oh, to war yeah, for them. Big yeah. facts. Big facts. Yeah. yeah. So let's go. Anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. DT. We have.